Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm playing a little Minecraft with Botania, delving into the mod, and I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something that's going to want make me want to wash my hands afterwards. But for right now, let's take a quick look at this right here, crafting station. Slime in a bottle. Yes, we're going slimy today, and unfortunately this is not the correct recipe. But what I do want to do is take this mana glass, toss it to the elves, and get back some Alfheim, Alfheim glass? Elf glass from the elves of Alfheim. All right, so let's stick that there. This will make the slime in a bottle. And now you can see in my hand, you, you can't see the slime at the bottom. And if you're looking at the, the bar down below, you can see the slime is doing nothing. So speaking of slime doing nothing, the, the, the mana producing stuff over here has been working great. This pool is full. Uh, it's got a tiny bit less than full because things are running underneath there. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. Uh, maybe the hopper hawk. Anyway, uh, stuff is running down there. Uh, these guys are going like crazy making wool and I was saying I wanted to get another way up well I just stuck these little ladders here and I can just get right back up so so nice all right uh, anyway over here earlier I went ahead and took uh, three stacks of wool and that's how much mana three stacks of wool is made here by the spectralist it's really a good producer oh Wow, speaking of producing, um, the, the slime is jumping, and you can see it both in my hand and down on the bar. This right here is a slime chunk, and that's what I'm looking for is a slime chunk. The problem, though, is, let's zoom in here, I've got a mob suppressor candle right here. The peace candle will stop everything in a 5x5 five five grid, so I can't harvest any slime here. They will not spawn. Oh, stuff's spawning over there. Uh, so I need something else. I'm going to run around with this and find where slime chunks are. And while I'm doing that, let me grab something to mark the chunks. Excuse me, guys. How are we doing in here? Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't need those in there. I want some lime wool. Let's go ahead and grab some lime wool because, you know, slimes. And out of my way, out of my way. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mark stuff like, you know, click. let's see, can I see that from above? Oh, yep, there's a little dot. That's a bright green dot. Lime. Uh, that, that will go ahead and tell me that this is here. So I will go ahead and, and dot this place with slime chunks. And yeah, it's got to be outside of here. And it's going to be a massive amount of digging. But oh, well, that's just the way it is. So a little bit later, I've found some slime spots and again because this five by five should be non-spawnable i can't use any of these as nice as that would be uh, this was tempting and this even more so but i'm gonna have to chew down the hill so i instead went with this one here and you can see from all the mobs running around there's tons of caves underneath here that i'm gonna need to light up as i expose it but uh, this area right here oh hey night uh this area right here this this chunk i'm going to excavate all all the way down to bedrock and that's going to be a lot of digging but if, if this works out nicely we should get some good mana from it it's close enough to uh, the base that it should be fully loaded and uh, should work really well without me having to hang out any place and if i want to expand it there's another slime chunk right there to the west so at this point i need to do a whole bunch of digging i have done so much digging but before I show you that, I'm going to make a few things here because, you know, got to make a few things. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is this right here. This is the assembly halo, which I should be able to get rid of my uh, crafting table on a stick. So you can see there's stuff around here. Oh, hey, uh, no recipe. Right click to set. I, what could I do? Right click. There's nothing there. Uh, I should be able to make things with this. And I'm not quite shift right. I'm not quite sure how to set a recipe. What can I set this recipe? No, that doesn't seem to work. Right click to set. I'm right clicking to set, and it doesn't do anything. Oh, 
I had to get off and then I was able to. Okay, so now I've got these different options. So I can program something here and then kind of carry around these recipes. Like uh, say I needed to make a, uh, I don't know, uh, a, a bunch of torches or some compressed cobble or something like that. I could sit there and program. Okay, that's weird. Um, it seems like if I shift right click and it turns off and yeah. Okay, so this is the, the, the crafting table, and I can sit there and craft things. Uh, what, what do we want to craft? Uh, let's, let's craft this thing here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's grab all these bits, and I've got a crafting table. I'm going to make this flare lens, and I made it from here. It's weird. I have to point east for that one. Okay, uh, let's grab all these bits, do, 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 do. and we'll craft it here. What do you mean? Oh, it's programmed. I don't want to... Can I... See, I still have that... I... Now i got to figure out how to un... Oh, wow. I just clicked off and on and it went away. All right. Oh, no, it's... Now that's pointing to the north. Okay, I, I have done very, very little with this, so I'm curious to see what's in here. Anyway, I'm going to make this mana blaster... Cool. Okay, uh, the, the Mana Blaster, the cool thing about the Mana Blaster, let's move that out of the way, is you can use this to shoot mana bursts. You know, pew. <laughs> Marader Stranded Girl, whatever the, the achievement is. But this is an actual mana burst like other mana bursts. So if I hit this drum and I've taken the Soul Sand out, stuck it over there, uh, looks like it's finally gone through all the three stacks. This This crate was full, so I figured ah, it doesn't need to pulse anymore, but did you, oh yeah, it sheared a few over there yeah, it sheared a few more let's see it's knocking me back a little bit <laughs> every time I do this, oops, here let's push that away, my um, uh, my ring of magnetization was picking those up, so this is an actual mana burst. I could sit there and zap things with it. I could zap these redstone detectors, and it would spit stuff out if there were stuff out there. So that's useful for testing things, especially long range, distance stuff like that. But uh, the the thing that I'm looking at is adding this flash lens, because now when you shoot things, it leaves a little burst of light. Oh, speaking of, of light, I put a whole bunch of torches here because I moved my peace uh, candle over to where I'm mining. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about mobs over there. And so I had to make sure everything's lit up. And I, I was saying I don't really like having torches around. I much prefer having these non-torch lights. And you can also just right-click them and break them. And it's like that fire texture is broken. So these I much prefer to having, you know, from torches. And now that I've got them, I'm happy to have them. But that, that green kind of stands out. Well, let's uh, do that, pull that out. And there were some other bits here. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, bone meal. And now it's a white tinted lens. And if we come over here, there's white. And white really stands out. Ooh, and I missed. I wanted to go to the block next to it. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but what if we use this. Oh, it does take that. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's put that in there and we use the black tinted. Let's do it in a line. So there's the default green. You can use the, the mana pearl and that way it's just slowly randomly uses different colors. The white is super bright. I like this one. I like this one a lot because it's harder to see and so that's what I'm going to go with. Let's put a light there. Break that, break that. And put it right there. And these I just kind of randomly stuck around just to prevent things from spawning up here. So they're not really super needed. And once I get the, um, the peace candle back, I won't need any of these torches or any of these light sources here either, for that matter. All right, so just enough. Oh, yeah, see, no torches. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's move the crafting halo. I'm going to have to play with that. That's the first time I've ever made that. And so I'm going to have to play with that. And the, there's recipes you can program and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I was really, really happy that I have my 
Terror Shatterer. Terror Shatterer? Terror... Yeah, Terror Shatterer. Because I can do a 3x3 three three chunk, and I needed that. <laughs> I went down to Bedrock, and I also went out. Um, this is the entire 16x16 16 16 chunk. And I went all the way down, and then out an additional 7 all the way around down there. So let's uh, head on down and show you off what I've done. And I stuck the the this beacon here, not, it's not a beacon, uh, waymark, that's the word. Uh, I stuck that here so that I could find where it was because initially it was right here, right on the, the edge of this this uh, this chunk, but I wanted it over to the side a little bit and so that way I could hammer back until I found the beacon I knew exactly where I was going. It's not a beacon, it's a waymark. Anyway, uh, I went ahead and put down on, I guess it was Y5, I did the stone slabs just to kind of make it look uh, the same, and some lights down there, and then this is going to be the spawning floor, and if we take a look at the chunk boundaries, I'm one wider on this side and on that side, whereas I'm right up to the, the chunks here. To, to make this work right, it needs to be 18 wide by 16, which is okay. Let's uh, turn that back off. Uh, so that worked out nicely and then it needs to be lit up well so nothing else spawns in here and hey i've got a new uh new way of lighting stuff up so i will do that because again no torches if i can avoid torches on the ground i will happily get rid of torches on the ground and my bed down here so <laughs> i could sleep the, the 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 night away oh yeah see that looks so much better not having the torches there Anyway, uh, the idea is that there's going to be um, several layers here where slimes can spawn and then they're going to be attracted to one of these two sides because there's going to be golems in here and they will automatically track golems. Otherwise, they'll just randomly bounce around, which is very slow. And if they fall over here for some reason, they'll get pushed closer and if they fall right here, I'm going to have the Narslimus or Narslimus here that will eat them up and get rid of them. And then the golem's going to be right about there. So that's that's the plan. And then I'm I'm going to box this all in with glass uh, right around this so they can't go this direction. There'll there'll be a border pre preventing them from doing that. Uh, but it's going to be quite a ways going up. And uh, now that it's getting dark, I can shoot some lights here on the walls. Can I shoot one on the ceiling? I can. <laughs> okay, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I could sit there and make sure that this is well lit from down here because I prefer to have a little bit of light going on. Oh yeah, see that, that really lights up the area. Uh, I won't do the walls so much right now because I, I, I want to place them nice and symmetrically because you know I'm, I'm a jerk that way uh, i also need to sit there and put a whole bunch of layers up here but let's first head back to base slowly and i need to make some uh, flowers the the narslimus flowers need to be made i've gotten a few things done in the last little while okay a last log while i've been watching a bunch of episodes of babylon 5 actually while uh, doing some stuff and you can see I've got some lights cast around with my lens gun, flare gun, whatever that thing is, the blaster, mana blaster, that's what it is, and I got golems set up, and I decided to have a little fun <laughs> with this guy here. Uh, I, I was trying the, the lime, and the lime clay didn't look good, and I just... Yeah, I, I finally I said, okay, we'll go with that. that. That's close enough to slime. That'll work for me. Uh, this is the one that's not done, and this one's all done. So let's head up, and I'll put in the last of the golems, and then I'll put the floors in, because the floors are just single layers of uh, the, the slabs, and that's it. So, you know, that's brain dead. Easy to do. Uh, I did put this top piece on, and uh, for people who haven't noticed already, this is the setup that uh, Il Mango has done as far as a vanilla mob farm for, for these slimes. And it should work fairly well. Now, I, I really don't care about the, the drops themselves. In fact, I won't get any drops, but I should be able to get some good stuff as far as mana is concerned. And yep, of course, I did drop everything down there. <laughs> okay, sploosh. All right, 
Uh, I've been uh, tossing stuff into here as I use it up and I just grabbed the rest. Okay, so I need that, definitely. I need that and I need that and I need that. All right, I think that's all I need. Back up we go. Oh, here, let's get rid of this here. That's what got me up so I could do the, the, the wool and stuff. Anyway, so I've been watching Babylon 5. Babylon 5 is a very fun series. Uh, science fiction, if, if you like that, came out in the, the late 90s uh, and is a real blast. Uh, it's been fun to watch. There's five seasons of it, and the, the guy who wrote it actually came up with the idea from beginning to end. And so it's, it's not like one of those standard... Uh, goes on forever sort of series. I, I really like that he had a vision of where it was going from the beginning to the end. And uh, I'm in the middle of season four where spoiler stuff happens, so I won't uh, say anything about it. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> that came out of nowhere. All right, let's hop up here and I'm gonna put this golem in place, last golem. Ooh, can I get him to work with his head up on the stone i don't know i had to <laughs> trim this down a little bit can i put no i gotta put it on here yeah there we go and then i break this glass block because yeah, i can't form him right next to these things anyway so that's what i've been doing and that's uh oh, i'll have to uh, oh, no i can't get up there but i can uh, uh, now i'm stuck all right uh, I need some stone to cap him off in here, and this should be the last of the, the golem stuff that needs to be done. And that, that, and one more stone piece over here. There we go. Uh, anyway, I was saying, uh, doing, uh, Il Mango's, uh, setup as far as, uh, the, the, uh, farm is concerned, and it should work out, uh, very nicely. Uh, also speaking of worked out, I did figure out how to get... Is that wrong? Oh, that needs to be in place. And then this up here. Oh, and I ran out. I, I was saying I did figure out how to do this. Uh, wherever you, no, wrong thing. Um, wherever you look when you click on it, that gives you the crafting table and you can make whatever you want. And then as you look aside, the last craft you did, you can program in some place like here. And if I just right click this, it makes me more of those which is very handy, especially building these thingies. So that should work here. All right, these guys should all be in place. And then the, the next thing I need to do is put the floors and then this should be ready to go. So we, and I think through the, uh, the magic of editing, let's go ahead and put in some floors here. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Before I do that, mana blasting. Mana blasting is fun. I've gone all over. Now let's go up to the top night. I've gone through and done probably about half of this, taking out the torches and putting the mana blasts in place. It's been very nice. And I'm not sure. It, this looks a little bit darker and that's a little bit lighter. There's a little bit more light from these mana blasts. Uh, you can see that the, the block that the Mana Blast is in is 15. You put a torch here and it's a 14 as far as a light source. So it's a little bit brighter. And the fun thing is being able to shoot things from a distance. So there's blasts in the corners, but not that corner. And now there is. Okay, that, that's fun. Uh, I, I left that one specifically there. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's get some uh, floors done. And done. So we've got all the floors and I went with this chiseled glass to surround it. When I realized if I was gonna put that much glass, that's a lot of glass. And I had a good, ooh, 10, 12 stacks of glass. And I, yeah, this is one, one block would go 16. So much, much better deal. And, and for fun, I, I went ahead since I had a few extra of the black to put a little border on it. 
just so it, it kind of gives it an edge. Uh, and so kind of like that to... I kind of like that how that works. Maybe later I'll, I may put an edge right along the top just to kind of define it because you get the edge here of the black, the edge of black on the side, but nothing really on the top. But I'll have to scaffold up and, and do that. So this looks like it is definitely working. Well, this is definitely completed as far as the cage for everything. And uh, Mr. Slime Guy is here. So let's remove the piece that prevents them from spawning and uh, put that back where it needs to go. And, uh, oh, here. Yeah, put a little bit up here. Oh yeah, I did I did put the black up. For a second I was thinking, did I put the black up here? I, I'd forgotten. <laughs> it had been a while. Several episodes of uh, Babylon, Star, uh, Babylon, uh, Babylon 5 later. That's all done. But uh, let's go get the peace candle off the top, which has been extremely nice. Uh, one of the things that uh, was really helpful when I broke into the caves down below, let's take a look, uh, went to cave layer, dupe. I broke down into this cave and holy cow, it just goes on forever and a little bit more. I was going, ah, there's so much cave here. And uh, I, I really wish I had made the, the blaster before because being able to light stuff up and no longer use torches, so nice. All right, that should, now that I'm 35 blocks away or so, uh, it should start spawning some, some mobs in there. Uh, at least the, uh, the, the, the slimes will, will occasionally spawn in there. So if I'm in this area, we should get slimes. In fact, uh, let's head on down and hopefully, if we're uh, lucky, we've got slimes. Now, we're not going to see them because hopefully they've, they've moved over there, but... No slimes yet. Anyway, I will have to play with this and uh, just hope that, that this is going to work. Uh, it's going to take a while for them to spawn just because of the, the randomness. And right now I'm really close, so a lot of these are non-spawnable. But I need to be further away. But that will work. That will do it for me. And hopefully we'll get the these uh, narslimus 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 whatever the the flower is called doing some work we'll gather up some mana there in, in that pool behind me and next episode we'll deal with uh transporting that to where it's useful anyway this has been grok the duck farmer doing a little uh minecraft with Britannia. and thanks for watching